So I have had for many years, before I came to Quest Haven, a memory that has just appeared in my mind probably in my 20s when I started to really go deeper into my spiritual work. And the image that is this in my mind is me lying with my arms out prone on the ground in a dirt path uh, as if at that time of the Christ when I was completely in despair face down in prayer feeling this deep feeling of despair that somehow I had betrayed my love for him and this image was so clear in my mind and would appear every now and then well, when I first came to Quest, Quest Haven and lived here, I was walking up to the inspiration point, and that image came into my mind. So I just allowed myself to just fall to the ground with my arms open, face down at the cross, and I just prayed from the depth of my being for healing from this feeling of despair, that somehow, opening myself up in prayer. So once we make a prayer, it doesn't mean that it's instantly going to go away. So it's taken about, I've been here about 20 years, maybe some more than that. But something very beautiful has happened this Advent in relationship to this image and my connection to it. For as my uh, practice this year, I've been envisioning the light, allowing the light to come into my being and just let that be, letting go of all my thoughts and wonderings and whatever comes up and just being in that light and allowing that light to come in and heal. And oftentimes it feels to me like I'm almost putting myself like through a life review, that we understand that once we pass over, we see our life in all the different uh, aspects. And so sometimes I feel like that's happening. I'm just sort of making that up. But uh, I will see myself in my meditations in various p points in my life as a child or as a teenager. And I let the light in and just allow that to bring unraveling of any tension or pain that's been there. So this year, uh, well, all of this has ha been happening this year. And one day, as I was in my meditation, that image came up. And I let the light in, in a new and wondrous way, as if I was allowing the Christ in to my experience into this place of pain and separation. So by allowing the light in, I have begun to let him in, for yes, he is the light. And I am realizing that I am the one who has kept him away. So if we understand that we have different aspects of ourselves and different points in time when we've uh, closed ourselves off, that this particular moment in time where I believe has been many lifetimes where I've had held this feeling, somehow, to me, it has been lifted. And it's also beginning to make sense to me that this image has affected my life here, that somehow... It has influenced my life, brought through karmic, uh, karmic experience in relationship to this point of being. So whatever it was that I did in that lifetime, whenever that truly was, it was ultimately not something that would keep God's love from me. It was my interpretation of the action that I did that was keeping me from God. For I had created a belief that I was somehow wrong, bad, and unable or unworthy to be connected to the Christ. Jesus knows that I love him, and he waits 
for me.